Hello, uh, my name is Carrie Ward, Director of Fostering Success Michigan, and this is Minute with FSM. I am here today to share some very exciting news related to Fostering Success Michigan with the FSM Network. Fostering Success Michigan has recently found a new home in Educate Tomorrow, a national organization that is focused on post-secondary access and success for youth with experience in foster care and homelessness. Educate Tomorrow has done work in Florida directly with students, with campus-based support programs and helping them develop on campuses in Florida, and then also facilitates the Positive Pathways Program, which is the statewide initiative in Florida similar to Fostering Success Michigan. I am so very excited about this transition because it really represents a first of its kind multi-state partnership that will focus on the sharing of resources, best practices, and long-term sustainability for our campus-based support programs and statewide initiatives. I'm here today to introduce you to uh, CEO of Educate Tomorrow, Brett McNaught. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate yes. it. Yes, it's so good to have you and introduce you to the network. So uh, my first question for you is, tell us a little bit about Educate Tomorrow. Well, I think you said it pretty well, but we, you know, we started 18 years ago um, when, when our founders uh, heard that there was uh, tuition exemptions for youth from foster care, homelessness, adoptions in the state of Florida, and that that information was not widely known. Uh, so very, very few students were taking advantage of it. So we kind of set out with the charge of making sure that uh, as many youth that would qualify for these exemptions uh, know about it as early as possible are uh, preparing to be able to be college ready, um, that the colleges and universities are prepared to be able to receive students from this population and, and um, support them in a holistic way to make sure that they succeed. Um, so, you know, fast forward 18 years later, there's nearly 7,000 students in the state of Florida utilizing the waivers um, this year. Um, just in South Florida alone, we've seen 700 graduates in the last seven or eight years. Um, so we're seeing a lot of progress and, and just excited to, to share that with whoever is willing to listen. And outside of Florida, you know, Michigan is, is doing it, uh, doing the most work in this space. So it was a logical decision to uh, find the best way to partner with Fostering Success Michigan. So you, you actually just totally answered my next question, which was like, why Fostering Success Michigan? And why is Educate Tomorrow interested in investing in Michigan? Well, we're reading each other's minds. So obviously there's a good fit already. Um, you know, I think culturally uh, we're, we're really well aligned, you know, what our passions are, uh, how we go about the work, you know, from a social work lens from a um, trauma-informed lens, uh, equity and inclusion and, um, you know, just making sure that the, the youth that we want to serve when they do get to college or if they, if they can get to college, that they're going to have the best chance to succeed um, and, and prosper into, you know, strong adults. So um, there was a great alignment there. I think there was just a, you know, some mutual aspects of you know, what we both needed, we, we wanted um, more expertise on our team. You know, we wanted a different perspective, different understanding around what different states do, how they operate, how different college coaching programs operate so we can learn how to do that better. Um, and then, you know, I think we have the administrative capabilities to be able to support you and Fostering Success Michigan in, you know, the operating of a, of a nonprofit, you know, and, and doing that with some efficiencies that wouldn't happen if we were two separate 501c3s just trying to operate in partnership. Absolutely. Yes. So even from the very first conversation that I had with you, I felt the same way. It was like, oh, I'm talking to people that truly understand the work. And like, I feel like what we know is that sustainability is more than just funding, right? Sustainability is succession. And I, I knew uh, just from the earlier talks that, um, that this is actually exactly where FSM belongs. I was like, oh, this is where that puzzle piece goes, right? Um, and then also in, in working with you for the past few months, um, I've 
really appreciated uh, an amazing team um, who are creative, who understand the nuances and complexities of the work, um, and also who, who understand uh, the passion of the work and why it is so important. Um, so I, I've really appreciated uh, coming under the Educate Tomorrow umbrella also. Uh, final question. So what can the FSM network expect following this transition? So like, what is your vision of this work moving forward? Well, I hope they should expect um, exactly what they have been receiving and, and more. You know, the idea is not to uh, cut anything or... Um, distract from the mission and the, and, the, and the priorities. But if we're able to bring more resources to the table, able to expand uh, the work to do even more, that's, that's the goal. Absolutely. And what I've seen already is this opportunity um, to just not only like share resources or like knowledge of this is what's working in Florida and this is what's working in Michigan and how we can leverage those two things. But I've seen an expanded network um, for like my Michigan coaches. So they've actually become involved with some of the network happenings within the state of Florida and have been able to take what they've learned back to their campuses. So I feel like um, this partnership is is going to be amazing in opportunity as far as moving forward for both of our states and our growth, but also for us to be able to share information with other states who are working toward building campus-based support programs and statewide initiatives. Um, so super excited about that. Well, um, I would say also for, for um, the FSM network, my message is just like Brett said, keep doing what you're doing. Continue to engage, uh, continue to bring your expertise to the work. We need all of our, our network experts at the table um, and continue to bring issues and problems that you're identifying with your students to uh, the FSM network so that we can work together collaboratively to problem solve and identify best practices and resources to help our students. Um, and then also tell others about FSM. We want to continue to build a robust network, um, a robust holistic pipeline of support and education for students with experience in foster care in Michigan and beyond. Um, thanks so much, Brett, for taking Thank the you, time Karen. out of your busy day. Um, I'm sure that they will see more of you as we move forward. Um, and as always to the FSM network, I appreciate your partnership and your work. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me at carrie at educatetomorrow.org and visit the FSM website at fosteringsuccessmichigan.com for resources, toolkits, and more information. Take care. Thank you.